So imagine this, it's Sunday afternoon, I'm riding along the coast on a beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning with a bunch of my buddies, and one of them says to me that he'd just been recently to a cafe with his wife, and he said it was absolutely outstanding. He said it's basically a, it's a, an outdoor seating area on an old timber mill, and the cafe itself is within a, a shipping container on the site. I'm thinking, okay, that sounds cool. He says, yeah, there's a florist, there's a hand potter, there's um, wooden furniture, there's a cactus cellar, there's all sorts of quirky stuff. I reckon you'll love it. So I go there with my wife and we did, we loved it. I also, along the, in, the, in the visit, I, I did something that I do is I was very difficult with ordering my simple breakfast. He had a thing called a Reuben breakfast sandwich, basically a Reuben on rye, which I love. So I asked him for this thing and he, um, he said, yeah, no problems. But I said, but no bread, please. He said, oh, okay, not a problem. So he makes this thing for me, and it was delicious. Basically a deconstructed Reuben sandwich. So I walked up to him later and asked him, like, I said to him, well, look, that was fantastic. Thank you. He said, oh, did you enjoy it? I said, yeah, I had a great, great fun eating it. It was just like this discovery. And then he says to me, well, it was actually a lot of fun for me to make. And I thought, oh, okay, this is cool. This guy really loves his food. So I continued the conversation and said to him, look, I've got a bunch of cycling buddies. They'd love to come here. You reckon you can, you can fit them all in? He said, yeah, no problem. We'll fit everyone in. I'd love to have you. So a couple of weeks later, I rocked up with my crew. There were about 12 of us. And we'd just been for a long ride, a hard ride. And what happens when we do this is where we need two things. We need coffee and we need food. So we walked in and well, cycled in. And I, um, I stopped and saw the owner. I said, oh, hi, remember me? And he said, oh, yeah, I remember you. You were the Reuben guy. And you wrote me that really nice review on TripAdvisor. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I brought the crew along. Okay, great. Welcome. And that was kind of it. I didn't expect streamers and rainbows, but I did expect something a little bit more than that. I thought, okay, it might just be my imagination. So we go and find a place to sit and order our food. It's one of those walk-up service walk up ordering sort of places, but they bring the, take the food to your table. So we did all of that, sat down and had our first round of coffees and no one cleared the coffees. And I thought, oh, that's not great. Then the food came and the food was delicious. And everyone was remarking how awesome the food was, how awesome the place was, but there was no clearing of the plates. And then we happened to, one guy said, look, I might get another coffee. And one or two other guys said, yeah, okay, I'll come with you. And they got up and got the coffee. Now, keep in mind, it's, it's hard to work, walk in cycling shoes as well, especially on the dirt. But anyway, we go off and do that. And um, we had the coffees and I, and I just looked at the table and it was just still full of empty plates, dirty plates. Now, what this owner could have done along the way, they could have secured, now keep in mind, this place is not exactly close to home. It's a little bit out of the way but they could have done quite a few things to make more money because business savvy is not incompatible with customer service. So the first thing they could have done was just, just acknowledge the entrance. Hi guys, I heard you guys might be coming, never have been here before I hear that. I um, hope you love our food. Just anything to engage. Number two, check on the table. So once the table's been served, get someone to go in there and just check. And it's not just the, the, the cursory, oh, everything okay? It's not that. It's actually having a little bit of a conversation. It doesn't have to be the owner because the owner's busy. It can be anyone, but just check on the table. Number, the third thing is clear the table. As soon as people have had their food, they do like to have their table cleared. Now, here's the point where you can make more money. This is number four. Go around and ask if anyone would like an extra coffee while you're clearing the table. Now, all cafes these days have got those portable point of sale devices. You can walk around with that thing even if you have to handwrite the orders and just say, look, I'll just grab some coffees. Let's just make them four bucks each or whatever. Who'd like a coffee? Everyone would have said yes, everyone. But they didn't do that. Now, what that does is that number one, it just shows you care. These guys would have absolutely loved it because they can just sit there and be served and you make more money. You just make more money. But let's say you don't want to pester people and be the person that goes, oh, you know, upsell, cross sell, buy this, buy that. Let's say you don't want to do that. For the first time, just maybe if the owner came out and said, hey, look, I'm going to send someone around, give us some coffee orders, and we'll get you all a round of coffees for free for the first time you've been here. We hope you come back. hope you love the food, and please enjoy the rest of your stay. Now, they would have, of course, they would have jumped at that opportunity, but these guys would be going back again and again and again. 
whenever we go to a cafe, we drop at least two to three hundred dollars. Now that's a lot of people walking in normally. You're getting them all in one group and they will come often. And these groups, whether it's a cycling group, it's a book reading group, it's any sort of group, they move very quickly and they're, they're very transient. If they see things they don't like, they'll just go to the next place. If they get bored, they'll go to the next place. If it's not good enough, they'll go to the next place. So you won't keep that group forever. Well, you, keep, you could keep them for a long time, but you will get a lot of business for quite a long time. So you will get some loyalty for quite some time. So really the, the takeaway here is that, look, it's not rocket science. The problem is that so many owners are obsessed with the food, they're obsessed with the presentation, but they lose sight of the human interaction. They also just, they, they confuse business acumen with customer service. They almost think that those two things are incompatible. They are not. Business acumen is good customer service. Good customer service is selling people stuff. These people have got money on the table and they want to give it to you and they would be grateful for you to take their money. I don't know what other business case you need to make for any sort of activity in your business. I'm Stephen DiPietro. Thanks for tuning in.